another challenge. This week we're in Loughborough, just south of Nottingham. Now we've been told to look for a place called Rainbows Hospice. It's in Hazel Road. And we're heading for the town centre and we'll just fingers crossed that it's uh, somewhere central because I haven't got the right sort of map. Hi there. Can I ask you something? Do you know where um, Hazel Road is? Can we follow you? Right, left here. Hazel Road, brilliant. Right, the next question is where this hospice is. Hi there. Do you know Rainbow's Hospice? You see the houses about 300 yards up the hill? Yeah. Well, it will be going up, some, up somewhere there. I've no idea where. What do you mean it I will see. be? Oh, I see. We've got to finish it by tomorrow afternoon. Is that a challenge or something? Must be, I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> OK, we'll go and have a look. Yeah. We're in the wrong place. What do you think we're in the wrong place? Go back to the front here. Oh, no, it's only here. It's the back of this edge. Dave? <laughs> yeah, over here somewhere, Annie. <laughs> Straight on. You can't miss it, okay? <laughs> Dave. Oh, right, that's a good idea with the white flag. <laughs> Hello? Can anyone see us? Oh, hang on. Here. Oh. Oh, no. There's definitely a, a site marked out for something. Is this the challenge to, to build a hospice? Could be. It's a project and a half, if it is. What's that over there? Right funny, old, um, funny old thing for a building site. A mannequin. Oh, Dave, you've scored! It's got a challenge on it. God, on the muddiest part. Look. At two o'clock on Thursday, walk down the catwalk, oh my goodness, at a fashion show, launching a new collection on behalf of the Rainbow's Children's Hospice Appeal. P.S. The collection hasn't been designed nor made yet. Get weaving. Far too smart to be on a building site. Yes, so you must I be am. something to do yes. with this. Yes. Hello, yes, who are you? Yes. Hi, Kit. What on earth is going on? What, what is this? Well, Where are well, we? Well, yes, yes. In actual fact, we're on the green site of the Rainbows Hospice. Yeah. Our aim is to actually build a dedicated children's hospice for the East Midlands region. So the idea is that the new collection mm. raises money to help the hospice? Yes, yeah, that's a brilliant right. idea. Yeah. So for people watching who might have had no experience of a hospice, can you explain what it is? Yes, well, a children's hospice is very much uh, a place for living. Uh, very sadly, um, the children accepted into the care of rainbows um, have got incurable diseases. I do speak from first-hand experience uh, that the loss of a child is by worse, the worst scenario that anyone could ever imagine. When we founded the trust, it was because my daughter Laura uh, was diagnosed with leukaemia. Um, very sadly, Laura died some five years ago now, and um, Kit played an important part. He actually donated, what did you donate, Kit? Some good soldiers to my sister to fight the bad soldiers, but they're too strong. Right. OK. So it's so very you important to person. donate some of your bone marrow to help your sister. So everything we see here, this whole building site, will be a hospice in her memory. We're heading uh, 
north to Nottingham now. We've said to Gail and Kit we'll meet up with them hopefully later this morning. There's an awful lot to do. The main thing, I guess, is to get a designer on board. Dave, who's your favourite designer? Um, let me think of one that springs to mind. I mean, there's Bruce Oldfield. I know he's away at the moment. A bit French. I feel Yves Saint Laurent's a bit French. I think we need to think British. I mean, there's someone like Jasper Conrad. Who... Yeah, it's convenient. <laughs> oh, God. This is what we're up against the whole time. Jasper Carrot actually would probably do the job perfectly. <laughs> um, London. The name. Conran. Is that Mrs. Conran? Yes. Is it? Yes. I don't think this is the right one. Hello, it's Annika Rice here. Do you possibly have a number for Jasper Conran? Now, if this isn't Jasper Conran's number, we'd give up and go home, I think. Hello? Is that Jasper? Yes. Jasper, it's Annika Rice here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hello, he falls about on the floor. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling fine, Annika, thank you very much. Are you in bed? Yes. Um, no, I'm up. Yeah? Yes. You feel... What else do you want to are know? Those... What am I wearing? What, what are you wearing? Well, uh, I'm wearing a kimono, actually. Are you? Yes. Just sort of floating around the house. <laughs> Jasper. Yes. We've got to create a new collection on behalf of a children's hospice appeal. What they're after is robust children's clothing. Right. And since I know you've never done any robust children's clothing, you seem the obvious person to ask. <laughs> well, that's a challenge. Would you be interested in that sort of thing? Of course I would. Would you? Seriously? Yes. Jasper, I think I'm in Do I get to ride in your buggy? You, do you get to... The buggy is yours, Jasper, in return for this. <laughs> it's yours. <laughs> right, let's go. What we're looking for is um, a shopping centre where there's a huge range of different shops because we need to get some advice about manufacturers to make this range of clothes. Hello, can I ask your advice? Where do sort of chains of clothes get their stuff done? Are the... Um, from this area, Leicester. Is Leicester the, is, is the place, area, yeah. Is can I ask you some, some information? That would be wonderful if you could get back as soon as possible. There's a court owl also on the court Can I write your plan? Right, well, confusing morning so far, I'd say. We've got quite a list. Courtauld's, what was that? Meritina, Fifth Avenue, Threads, Ian Stewart, Casuals, Castics. Seems to be various manufacturers all over the country. So we needed a bit of phone bashing on that. Meanwhile, I said I'd meet Gail and Kit at 11, so back to the truck. wondering is whether you actually manufacture stuff in the UK. Free, free, oh, we've got a designer on board. We just need to find someone who can deal with that sort of bulk numbers. Free, free. So home for. Thank you very much indeed. We'll um, sort of head up there and see you when we see you. Bye-bye. Well, a company called Castix have come to our rescue. They're actually about 100 miles north of here at a place called Homeforth. It's where last of the summer the wine is apparently recorded. We're going to now ring Jasper and tell him to get on a train to Wakefield in Yorkshire and we'll pick him up from the station. If you think this is complicated, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Gail and Kit asked us to come and meet them at a special school here later this morning. This is it. I don't know any more than that. Gail, 
Could I introduce you to Gordon Jameson, the headmaster of Helen Special School? Very nice to see you. So they're all you're, physically you're disabled children here, but some of the children, about one in five of the children, have a long-term deteriorating condition. Hello. Hi. How nice to see you all. Hello. Hello. I've been looking all over for this classroom. I got terribly lost. Oh, dear. Hmm. Oh, look at this. You're doing the rainbow work. Yes. You should have been talking about hospices this morning. Right. Yes. About the one that's going to be built near Loughborough, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. We've been talking about what we would like in a hospice, mm -hmm. haven't we? Mm -hmm. Yes. And what did you decide you'd like? What did you decide? Computers. Computers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, places where your pets can go. Games. And yeah. this is what it's going to look yeah. like. You see, we saw the, the muddy field bit underneath that this mm -hmm. morning. And yeah. you really like What did you say about that? It looks well. Well, welcoming. Very it welcoming. Nice. You see, it looked like a house, didn't you? Yeah. Yes, it doesn't look like a hospital, does it? No. It looks like mm. a sort of house. What are you going to do with the uh, fashion show at the end of all this, then? Have you heard of a chap called Jasper Conran? No. He sounds very mad on the telephone. I've never met him before, <laughs> but he sounds very mad. And, and we've asked him to come up with a line of clothes um, for kids and adults. I don't know what's happening when we get up there. I just know I've got to arrive with finished designs. <laughs> oh yeah, really easy, really casual, no problem, Annika. Anytime, any time, yeah, we'll come up with a collection at like <laughs> two o'clock this afternoon. On the train. Thanks a lot. How many things have you got to do it? Two. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> two days to do all that in. I know, it's a bit mad, isn't it? Little house. Lovely rainbow. There are seven colours in a rainbow, aren't there? Well, we can't afford seven colours, we can't have to be four colours. Or zips to get their booties out. I think it's really nice to see children in kind of stuff they can muck around with. I hate mm. seeing children all dressed up. Okay. Hello. Jasper. Hello. We're here, we're on this train, we've got the computer out. It's out, And we've it? just finished a t-shirt for you. And it's called Annika's Rainbows and I've just digitising the disc right now. We've worked up um, an overall. We're going to make these overalls for children. Oh, one, like dungarees, like, you mean? Well, sort of like dungarees, yes. Jasper, you're a star. Listen, keep those creative juices flowing and we'll see you in Wakefield in about half an hour. Bye. If you told me that I would find myself on a train being challenged, Oh, here's your matching, <laughs> matching buggy. <laughs> yes, yeah, so some people good. have handbags to match. <laughs> yes. You have a buggy. Getting cold. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I tied You're my cold. hair back. But I'll be okay. There we go. <laughs> People always long to go in this buggy, and after five seconds, they say, Well, that's great, can we get out? <laughs> I'm quite happy in the buggy, actually. <laughs> Here we are. Raindrops keep falling on my head, and just like the guy whose feet are too big for his bed. Nothing seems to fit Those raindrops are falling on my head They keep falling So I just... 
Hello, Alan. Hello. We made it eventually oh, through, through Hill of Dale, Jessica Conran, his assistant. Ah, how do you do? Please meet you. Dave, all the gang, oh, right. oh, furry you. beast. Right. Um, thank you so much for saying he may be able to help us. Oh, I'm sure we'll see um, what we can do. Jasper has been creative this morning. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I don't like it, but he has yeah. been. And it's all in there. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. Do you work from these a lot, with designers? Uh, well, yes. So it's not just Jasper being no, flat. No, no, no. <laughs> this is being modern, isn't it? Very much modern. I have to ask. Yeah, I put it in yeah. quite a long way. It's actually not working, is it, Jasper? So of course it's designs working. you <laughs> tossed <laughs> off in the train, you're going to have to do it again. No, this is where uh, Jenny... Jenny uh, just wants a quick painter. Mm -hmm. But it's a tenants. Mm -hmm. Waiting to see whether it's... We're not worried at all. We haven't lost it, have we? No. Oh. Yeah. All oh. right. There you are. And that's what we'll be able to what print is that out. Elastic at the sides. That's elastic at the sides. To sum up, there's a t-shirt, the unisex boiler suit for the kids, right. yeah. and what's for the for the mums? There's a dress and tunic for the mums. So it's a two-piece outfit. And the finished items have to be. Um, printed and manufactured and created and everything by two o'clock on Thursday. Right. right. Well, I'm looking for a kind of cotton drill. Uh, so it's something quite chunky. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, is that a nice color? Well, it's a nice blue. Nice colour though. Well, I, lo I love it actually, yes. I love it. Could you just run me up a tablecloth in that? I love a tablecloth. Some, some, some matching curtains and some napkins. Isn't that lovely? Mm. That's for later. <laughs> Why don't we see what it looks like stone -washed? Why don't we have a go at it? Right. Are you the company that makes drill material? SAIC Velcro. This is for a boiler suit, isn't it? Yes. It's quite long now that we've got yeah. some lens in. Oh, hi there, YKK. Um, could I talk to someone about spiral nylon zips and nickel press studs, please? Welcome to the company. Oh, hi there. Um, I gather you make gram needle out cotton jersey. Hello, is that Coates? Hi there. Can I talk to someone about cotton thread, please? Good afternoon, automatic braiding. May I help you? Why would you want this? It's Shrigley Dyers. Oh, it's Shrigley Dyers, is it? No, I did want you. Jump down, turn around. Thank you for letting me ruin your day, John. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye. The good news is that Cortles, who provide all the Jer jersey cotton, do you call it? Cotton or jersey. Cotton yeah. jersey, sorry, I was close. Cotton jersey, yes. For the T-shirts, have said they'll help us out. Oh, fantastic. What we're going to do, we're going to modem the design through. To microdynamics. To microdynamics. They'll take a look at it and take it off and put it on. And then the heat, actual printing heat machine. seal textiles have said they'll actually screen print the bulk T-shirts for us. So, in fact, right. we're all set. We're set for the sample and we're Brilliant. set for the bulk production. Great. Again, it occurs to me that we're talking about very vague things at the moment. We, we've got a range of clothes that we know are going to look fabulous because yes. we've had tantalising glimpses That's of right. what Jasper's work's going to look at. Yeah. But what's going to be the outlet for this? Have you got anything in mind? Well, I don't know, because I've been sort of sat here, I've seen all this action going on, I'm thinking, gosh, what's going to happen once the garments are made? You know, I mean, how are we actually going to retail them? Because there's many ways we can approach it, really. We can either go to a big chain of shops like Marks and Spencers or Debenhams and see if they'll agree to take a, a range of clothes for the autumn. Yes. The other option, I don't know whether you've considered, is mail order. Then you've got a guaranteed market of people who receive the catalogue. Yes. Or you can approach something like a national newspaper or a big magazine and, and see if they're willing to give us some sort of advertising space. I mean, there's sort of many different many ways options. we can actually try mm. and market this. I, I certainly think mail order. Yeah? Definitely. <laughs> John, it's Annika Rice here. Oh, hello. In the challenge capacity. It suddenly occurs to me that um, Littlewoods, with their catalogue, might be rather a good vehicle for this. I think it's terrific. 
Well, look, um, if you give me your telephone number, I'll get someone to working up what to do exactly. Right. And they'll ring you up. Well, that phone call has completely transformed this challenge. I thought we were just talking about getting some wonderful creations ready for a glitzy catwalk on Thursday. We're now talking about potentially a huge market out there of millions of people. So that means we've got to market the product successfully. We've got to produce a brochure probably, we've got to get photographs done of the product, and all in a couple of days. And if you've watched other challenges, you know what that means. Chaos. Jasper's designs are now out of the computer. Da -da -da -da. This is a photocopy of Jasper Conran for Rainbow's Child Boiler Suit in Cotton Drill. That's what it looks like. And this poor lady, what's your name? Francis. Francis has the awful job now of actually making this into an actual garment. It's called a toile sample, and it's like a mock-up of what the final garment will look like. Jasper then has to OK that, check that it's absolutely correct and what he's after and all the companies we've approached have been absolutely brilliant they really have because let's face it at this stage we don't even know what we're talking about I mean 200 of those might sell or 2 million but they've all backed us all the way and said they're behind us and they'll do whatever's necessary which is great news Little Woods are about to arrive so on to the next stage <laughs> Thank you so much for getting involved. The main aim is to produce a brochure. Yes. yes. How could we do that? Because presumably you've already done your brochures for the next year. We're constantly running brochures and leaflets alongside the catalogue so we can quickly set up another one. If we're to try and have, have brochures um, completed in time for the fashion show, which I'm sure you'd like, hmm. then we need to do a shoot tomorrow. You get to repeat, um, people like Photolink who could set the whole studio up on the premises. All right. well, we need uh, to bring a photographer in. I could recommend somebody who I think could do the job. Um, Tony McGee. But I used to live next door to Tony McGee. <laughs> <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> <Very well. laughs> yeah. We're also going to need um, a woman to model the ladies' work. I've got the perfect person in mind. She's called Katrina Borman, and I work with her a lot, and mm -hmm. she would be wonderful with children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's also my sister-in-law. Oh, well, that makes a difference. Another phone call. How are you doing fashion shows and sorts? Well, the challenge is that at 2 o'clock on Thursday, we will parade the garments down the catwalk. You're going to be the first. <laughs> we'll go, i tell you what we'll do. We'll go into a shopping precinct and pick one person out of every single size we can find and get them to go on the catwalk on Thursday, just to prove these Probe. garments will fit every single figure. Do you take on that? Um, I said, this is a double mm -hmm. challenge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's have a look. What I'd like, I don't like seeing that no, we've all, we've zip top. I think I would like to see an, an extra piece on yeah. there. And, um,. I'd really lead, like to see a twin needle stitch down here. Is that possible? Yes. In fact, I like it to be twin needle stitched practically everywhere. Thanks very much. Twin it from there, from there. and leave then that. leave that. That's fine by me. How much long do you think we're going to be on this? Hours. Hour. Now. No, no, we're going to be. We think, oh, we're going to be. Oh, hi there. Help yourself inside. Um, actually, they're the guys from Ravenhead Laundry. They've come to actually collect the garments and take them away and, and wash them overnight. The only trouble is the garments aren't quite ready. It's typical challenge stuff, this. We're, we're running quite behind now. The trouble is they're cutting and sewing and Jasper's doing his bit and readjusting everything. So the process is going backwards and forwards before the poor ladies at their sewing machines and Jasper being deeply creative on the other side of the room. It's going to take most of the night, I think, this. Um, we are a bit behind time, but fingers crossed we'll be ready for that uh, photo shoot tomorrow morning. We're going to look fabulous because yes. we've 
had tantalising glimpses right. of what Jasper's work's going to look at. Yeah. But what's going to be the outlet for this? Have you got anything in mind? Well, I don't know, because I've been sort of sat here, I've seen all this action going on, I'm thinking, gosh, what's going to happen once the garments are made? You know, I mean, how are we actually going to retail them? Because there's many ways we can approach it, really. We can either go to a big chain of shops like Marks and Spencers or Debenhams and see if they'll agree to take a, a range of clothes for the autumn. Yes. The other option, I don't know whether you've considered this mail order, then you've got a guaranteed market of people who receive the catalogue. Yes. Or you can approach something like a national newspaper or a big magazine and, and see if they're willing to give us some sort of advertising space. I mean, there's sort of many different many ways options. we can actually try mm. and market this. Blog. I, I certainly think mail order. Yeah? Definitely. John, it's Annika Rice here. Oh, hello. In the challenge capacity. It suddenly occurs to me that um, Littlewoods, with their catalogue, might be rather a good vehicle for this. I think it's terrific. But look, um, if you give me your telephone number, I'll get someone to working up what to do exactly. Right. And they'll ring you up. Well, that phone call has completely transformed this challenge. I thought we were just talking about getting some wonderful creations ready for a glitzy catwalk on Thursday. We're now talking about potentially a huge market out there of millions of people. So that means we've got to market the product successfully. We've got to produce a brochure probably, we've got to get photographs done of the product, and all in a couple of days. And if you've watched other challenges, you know what that means. Chaos. Jasper's designs are now out of the computer. Da -da -da -da. This is a photocopy of Jasper Conran for Rainbow's Child Boiler Suit in Cotton Drill. That's what it looks like. And this poor lady, what's your name? Francis. Francis has the awful job now of actually making this into an actual garment. It's called a toile sample, and it's like a mock-up of what the final garment will look like. Jasper then has to OK that, check that it's absolutely correct and what he's after he's last a... night who are still alive after the the ordeal of yesterday <laughs> oh, look at them all your blue this is my blue oh it's come out beautifully you see this is the you know they all went off to the laundry last night and this is the yeah. the process they're garment washed or stone these washed? are garment washed so and sweet. look we've got the little label in oh this is atlas house who provided us with all our labels this is a this is an annika conran design <laughs> Because we found this, we found it together. We found this, covered. and we couldn't resist it, could we, yeah. Annika? Children, if you're watching, will you please ask your mothers to get this one say, more than any other say, one? Say, Mummy, because... we like this one. Yes. Because <laughs> Annika and I like this one too. Right. Okay. And what else have we got? This is the top. This okay. is the top. Oh, should I try one? Yes. I've seen this bit yet? I'm having such a lovely time being such a girl, because usually on this <laughs> programme I'm not allowed to be a girl. I have to be... I'm, on a, I'm sort of up to my knees in mud somewhere. So this is... How does that look? Very, very smart. Is it OK? Yes. After the last night's meeting, we came up with a design and we had some help from some friends at the Ad House in Liverpool to put this visual together. So these will be... The real children, and yeah. that'll be Katrina. That'll be, yeah, the model. And, and here? Katrina and the children. Yeah. Various insets of the garments. Jasper. Jasper with a beard. Yes, I was going to say. She's obviously <laughs> shaved it off for the day. And, and you, Annika, on the front cover. You want to do that on the front, wearing one of the dresses. Uh -huh. um, with the children all in their suits. Yeah. Bob's your uncle. Exactly. Let's get going. <laughs> Well, we'll try them on and see if they are too big. We've got a small problem. Yeah. We've made the clothes for five-year-olds, and the children are all three. Now, what we can do is we can either alter them, or roll them up, or look for new children. It may be that we'll be able to get away with um, right. Working on the three-year-olds, and we have got to work on them, so we right. can, you know, we can alter them. But 
But it might put it all back about a couple of hours or so. Could easily. Right. So if we try the blue on Brad, who's a bit bigger, then we yeah. might not have the problem. Well, we, we'll see what. We'll see the extent of our problem. See the extent of this crisis. How are you doing, Todd? I think that'd be fine if we just maybe use the bigger children for the actual bonuses and, and the, the smaller children for t-shirts. T -shirts. Um, Perfect. Hopefully we won't have a major, major, major problem at the 11th hour. Right. Right, where's the uh, top? Should we go and do this photographs now, just Annika? They are stunning. <laughs> I just... I'm I mean, really I want one. I mean, you uh, should... Uh, maybe I've got a new career in children's wear. I'm really enjoying it. Ready, steady, action. All lined up in a wedding group. Here we are for a photograph. We're all dressed okay, up then. in a morning suit, all trying not to laugh. Since the early Where's cave man in his fur took a trip to Gretna Green. There's always been a photographer that we called the Abbey. Seventy seven silly sausages. Oh, you flashbang, what a picture. What a picture, what a photograph. Poor old soul, love me, what a joke. Hat blown off in a cloud of smoke, her hands. Stamp your feet, banging on the big bass drum. What a picture, what a picture, um, till the um, 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 sting it in your family album. Is that JNC Moores? Yes. Oh, hi there. Can I speak to Jack Fulshaw, please? I want to give mine to my mummy. Jack, hi, it's Annika Rice here from the Challenge Programme. Let me put this to you. What we need to do is print two million leaflets. Yes. They're A3 folded to A4, four-sided leaflet. The trouble is we need them for 2 o'clock tomorrow I, I thought you were going to say something like that, Annika. I've, I've watched your programme, you see, yeah. Oh, in flashbang, what a, what a big check, what a big check, what a photograph. Oh, young friend, Ben, the you don't want to go in the buggy. <laughs> Not in Annika's big buggy. What a, what a baby! What a picture, what a picture, run to the um, bum, 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 bum. I feel so sorry for mothers. <laughs> Their lives are really hard. Stick it in your family, stick it in your family, stick it in your family. How are you doing? Very well. well. Doing very well. On my 109th roll, so. Uh, yeah. It's great, but actually, we're a bit behind time now, so I don't know how many more shots you think you need. Uh, well, I would have thought we're coming to an end now. I think we've got one more on Katrina. We've got. Uh, a shot of Jasper to do, so that, that's... You're joking. That's <laughs> it's just that it's half past two now. Mm. We were meant to have finished at two the whole thing. Good God. But the point is, there's such a knock-on effect because of mm. all the, the mm. production of the actual brochure I, and the printing and the artwork. I agree. So, so, let's, so let's, let's, let's put this one to bed. The reading. Okay. Very nice. Just bought my shirt. Very Just good, yeah. Bought my yeah. shirt, so sexy. It hurts. And I'm right there. Here we go, the last shot, once more, and smile. 77 smelly sausages! Well done. Can I just get up a moment, Ashley? Thank you so much. I know everyone here has been, well, a lot of you have been working all through the night to make this possible. Um, thank you to everyone at Castix. I'm sure you're going to be very relieved to get rid of us, and I promise we will be leaving very shortly. It'd be nice to think that the challenge was actually over, but we're actually really only just halfway through because there's a huge process ahead. We've got to take the film off to be processed, then we've got to produce a brochure overnight, and we've got to try and hit a two o'clock deadline tomorrow afternoon with a grand fashion parade with all the models and the distributing of all these leaflets. But thank you so much for helping us get as far as we have. And the most special thank you, <laughs> the most special thanks to Jasper, who I think you would agree has been a tour de force for everybody. So on to the next stage now, we're off to Manchester where the film will be processed. Let's go.
know what that's all about. Yes, yes. yes it's right. weird. Right. I'm sorry it's this so late. Yeah, 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 photographs. yeah, 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 yeah,
So we've got a bit of recruiting to do. And Dave, I tell you, you're in for it. If I can't find anyone else, who will do it. Hi, nice to see you. This is it then, is it? Yes, yes, and we've got the, the lights over here. This Hello. Oh, I'm glad it's not so long. I thought it's going to be about three miles long. One yeah, we've, I think we've reduced it down in length. Uh, yeah. We're just getting it close up to here now so that uh, people can walk straight down and step on. So they'll problem? change in the truck and just walk yeah, down? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Slight problem, we just need a few models. We are looking for mums who'd like to be a model. This is who? This is Melling. The art gallery. Oh, it's a figure like this. Oh, never been hurt. <laughs> never been touched by oh. human hands. You mean or what? Learn some colours. I know. Dave. Dave. Oh, get him off. <laughs> you two can have a body like mine. <laughs> and I just wondered what you were doing from now until two. Because what we want to show is that the clothes. You know, it's not just for models who are seven foot tall and stick in set. You say we're... No, but I meant, you know... And in return, if we could borrow your mum and, and try some clothes on her and, and see how she does the old walking, we <laughs> Hi. Can I ask you a favour? <laughs> are you busy at the moment? Not really, no. Um, you know Challenge? Have you ever seen yeah, the program? No. No, no fine. OK. <laughs> Can I ask you a favour? Can I ask you a favour? Are you busy? No. <laughs> Can I tell you what we're doing? We're doing a bit of a, a rehearsal up in that building there. Okay. And then at two o'clock, we'll just have a bit of fun on the catwalk and show okay. them off. <laughs> Will you do that? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Follow, follow me. And all i got to do is act naturally. Hi. Hello. It's trouble again. This is Todd, by the way. Hello, Todd. How are you? Hello, you. How are you today? I saw all your pictures you did yesterday, and they're so lovely. Are you Bryn? I'm Paul. Oh, you're Paul. <laughs> Hello, Annika. That's Bryn down there. Now, listen, we have found some models from the streets of Liverpool. From are you ready dock. for this? <laughs> We're going to transform you all. Try not to be embarrassed. If you're embarrassed now, what are you going to be like with everyone out there watching you? There she was, just walking down the street. It's going to be about four steps before you reach the end of the catwalk. Are you using your hands, one hand maybe on the hip when you do the turn, so that you're, you're showing off that better. Your shape becomes better that way. She look good, she look fine. She look good, she look fine. And I nearly lost my mind. Or just bury one of them onto a hip. It'll actually make you feel as if you're slightly taller. You're going to do a great job for us on the catwalk, aren't you? What we've got to sort out now is getting some makeup for all our bigger models. I'm just making a phone call. You were on telly yesterday. You were on telly yesterday, too. You were? You wait till you see. Can I watch? Is that the body shop? It is, yeah. Oh, hi there. It's Annika Rice here from the Challenge Programme. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Listen, do you do makeovers in your shop? We do, yeah. We wondered if someone from Body Shop could come over and help us with doing the makeup for the models because they're yeah. just people off the street. No problem at all. We're so happy and that's how we're going to stay singing. Well, I'm her. I'm her. She's mine. She's mine. I'm her. She's mine. Wedding bells are going to chime. Really brilliant. It's quarter to one now. There's literally an hour to go before uh, takeoff, if you like. The makeup hasn't arrived yet. They haven't even tried the clothes on yet. Will we be ready in time? I've no idea. Yeah, I think that's nice. Yeah, well, they must be hot. Very nervous. 
There is total chaos in here. Right, you're ready for your quick change. How are we doing in here? Are you looking forward to this? I've been sick again. Oh, oh not again. No. Oh, this girl. <laughs> Believe it or not, I think we're actually ready. For those who haven't heard, Jasper Conran, the international designer, has helped us with this challenge. He's created a brand new collection for children and for adults. The hospice that all this collection, all the money raised from this collection, will go towards is a very special place in the East Midlands called the Rainbows Hospice. And it was inspired by one lady who's here in the audience called Gail Moore. Can you manage it? Just want to introduce Gail to you. Gail had a daughter called Laura, who in 1986 was diagnosed as having leukemia. And from that moment of the diagnosis, Gail worked tirelessly to raise funds because she realised how little help there was available to parents going through this ordeal. And sadly, Laura died in 1989, but Gail has kept on with this campaign and it's completely thanks to her that the hospice we're talking about is now at the situation where there's a plot of land, the foundations are going up, and over the next few months, it will be built. So we wish Gail and all her family all the success in the future. And Gail, it just leaves me really to hand you over the brochure, which is now completed and which hopefully is the, the passport in a way to a lot more funds coming your way. I'm delighted now, though, to be able to say that Jasper Conrad's Rainbows Collection models are about to come out. Jasper Conran designs, literally done over the last couple of days. the programme, do join me next week for a very special challenge from war-torn Croatia in the former Yugoslavia. We'll see you next Saturday.